Hello, welcome to another episode of Number Six with Cheese. Today, we're headed to Boxcar Betty's in Bucktown. Uh, there's a couple other locations outside of Chicago as well. Uh, we're gonna get the Boxcar Fried Chicken Sandwiches. Uh, come along, local review, Chicago, Illinois. Let's go. A couple of chicken sandwiches, boxcar Betty's acquired, jump cut. All right, let's take it in for a Corey Wagner second angle. All right, let's see what we got here. Open this bad boy up. There's the bottom of the bun. Let's check out the top. Boom, let's open this up. And there we got some spicy mayonnaise. And then we got pickles, homemade, say, they say. I don't know, maybe they bought them. They could be liars. And then underneath that, we got our delicious boxcar Betty chicken fried to perfection. You can see all the delicious herbs and spices in that beautiful beast. And underneath the chicken, we got a little bit of cheese that's congealed onto the chicken. It looks disturbing a little bit to peel it apart. Yeah, so. I won't even try to. You guys don't need to see too yeah, much of that. Yeah, you don't need to see too much of that. Is that pimento cheese? Mind your business. Okay, I'll find out later. <laughs> All right, on the big camera, mine's got the peach slaw on it, which is very unique and intriguing. I don't know if I've ever had peach slaw before, but there you go. Thanks, Canon 80D. Peach slaw is also what they call the mess that Princess Peach left in her pants after she finally saw Mario. So if you didn't know that, <laughs> now you know. All right, Boxcar Betty's. Hope you're watching. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Hell yeah. Damn yeah, good. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Before we get too far into this, uh, you've been, we, I missed saying it when we cheers. Okay. Can you please like the video? We almost got, we got almost 750 likes on one of our last two weeks ago. That was insane. Amazing. I saw that. We also had a video mm -hmm. last week that had 300 likes before it had a dislike. That is hard to do on YouTube. The, troll, the trolls were asleep. The Mountain Dew knocked them into a state of just coma abyss. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is damn good fried chicken. This is just like a really solid sandwich. Also, this sandwich was $7. <laughs> That's pretty damn good. We talked about like the fast food fried chicken sandwiches now are like five, six bucks. Right. right? So, on the way here, we also looked this place up. It originated in Charleston, South Carolina. And there's only four locations in the entire country. Chicago's got two of them. One's in the train station. If you ever come into Union Station, like at Ogilvy, you can get boxcar Betty's at like a food court. So look for it. That'd be great, way better than snagging like, I mean, I some pickles. of those Ogilvy things are rough, man. <laughs> Bro, these pickles are good. I'm not even a big pickle guy, but mm -hmm. this is some damn good pickles. I love the spicy mayo. It's mm -hmm. super creamy. This is great, man. This is a great chicken sandwich. Just frying anything up. Put me in heaven. Mm-hmm. Cream oh my god. A couple nudie statues over here. Oh. Look at that guy covering his dick and then the uh, naked titty statue. Oh, you god. You see him? Yeah, real skinny. Yeah, he looks like the alien from Signs. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> that's the perfect that's spot, that's on. spot on. Mm -hmm. That was, man, whenever I saw that movie, I was like 13 or 14. Oh my god. And that part happened, mm -hmm. oh, I couldn't sleep for a week and a half. God dang. M. Night Shyamalan at his best. Guy is talented. Oh, there's like some peppers or something in the cheese, in the pimento. Mmm. Look at, oh, you see, you see that right there? Mm hmm. This chicken sandwich is full of surprises. This cheese is damn good, too. People in the South love pimento cheese. And I see why. Yeah. Pimento cheese is like the the ranch dressing of the South. Like Midwesterners, like everyone's like, why do you, and then they have it, they're like, oh, that's why they bathe in it. Mm hmm. Pimento cheese, like it's on like chicken sandwiches all the time. Big proprietors of Pimentos, if we're talking YouTube fast food community, Huddy and the Chili King, always doing pimento stuff. And they actually, watching their videos made me learn more about pimento cheese. I guess Bojangles does a lot of pimento cheese. Is that right? Yeah, and on biscuits and stuff. What's proprietor mean? I don't know. <laughs> In that instance of using the word, I wanted it to mean like endorsers. Mm. And they're like a proprietor <laughs> of that. Yeah. So that's it, probably used incorrectly. But you know, I took a gamble. Like uh, how we love Detroit style pizza. Yeah, we are the proprietors of Detroit style pizza. And yeah. that's uh, none of that's probably at factual. Yeah, but if you want to Venmo us for that um, tutoring session that yeah, we just like gave a grammatical, our audi right. audience, mm -hmm. we just made you guys well, probably 10% dumber, but hopefully smarter. Right. Well, we don't know. I'd rather get dumber and, dumber and be entertained. Yeah, it's Than true. the other way around. Yeah, smarter what, and bored. 
My grandma famously said that about her kids. Really? On the Desmond side, that she would rather have, oh, I'd definitely rather have smart kids who are cool than dumb kids who are nerds. Absolutely. Yeah. And I was like, wow, I don't know if that's good parenting or great parenting. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> but look, she had some cool ass kids, so hey. Yeah, look what happened to me. Uh, I was yeah. on the other side mm -hmm. of that spectrum, and you don't want to turn out like this forehead. Oh, man. Um, I'm going to try not to eat this whole thing. We filmed three food reviews today because we're fat. It's just actually really efficient on how to film. And um, I'm so full. Mm hmm. Jesus Christ. I got a tummy lump coming. It's just a tumor. <laughs> the peach slaw was like faint enough where it didn't overpower and make it all about the slaw. Slaw is supposed to accent. Yeah. Slaw's like a, a guy in a band that just like, you know, you need the bass. He's not always the, the sexiest guy in the band, but the bassist is so needed. It is. You know? All right. Before we go ahead and rate the Boxcar Betty Boxcar Chicken Sandwich, let's do a shout out. Let's do it. Merch out, merch out, merch out. out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a merch store. It's filled with all types of different kinds of dope goodies. We got koozies. We, from time to time, have shot glasses and beer mugs. We've got all kinds of shirts. We obviously have our Sixer sauce on there, as well as the hotter Sixer sauce. Uh, and anytime you buy more than one item, you get to jump to the front of the shout out line. And if you get our hot sauce subscription service, where you get hot sauce mailed to your front doorstep every single month, you jump to the front of the front of the line. And we're gonna do a couple shout outs for people who um, currently bought, or recently bought, that uh, hot sauce subscription. Merch shout out number one, Mr. Scott Mitchell. From Drexel Hill, Pennsylvania, he gets the mild and the hotter two-pack subscription service delivered to Pennsylvania every single month. Scott, you support the show so much. Here's your shout out, and I know I've said it in the past, I grew up idolizing quarterback Scott Mitchell. You're probably not that Scott Mitchell, but I still love your name. And merch show number two goes Mr. Gus Palacio. Gus uh, got the Hotter Sixer Sauce subscription. We send that out to Nashville, Tennessee. Ooh. Hopefully, hopefully you're uh, topping all your Nashville hots with our even hotter Sixer Sauce, and hopefully it's delicious and you're enjoying that. Mm -hmm. um, thank you so much for supporting us. Gus and Scott, don't forget to go to www.number6withcheese.com if you want to pick up our Sixer Sauce or any of our dope merch or accessories. All right, rating time. That's what we do here at the show. We rate stuff because you need to. Uh, out of five, Betty Boop. She's Betty a boop. cartoon character of some sort. Out of five Betty Boops, how many Betty Boops do you give the boxcar chicken sandwich, seven bucks, here in Chicago, Illinois, Corey? That is a steal of a deal. <sighs> uh, very, very good fried chicken sandwich. Particularly, my chicken sandwich was like very huge and girthy. That yeah, thing was kind was. of a big old beast. It was a girthy. Uh, I thought the pickles were great, which is astonishing because I'm not really usually a huge pickle guy. So that means that they must have been very outstanding pickles. Yeah. And then that's, you're right about that spicy mayo. It was like really brought it all together. Creamy, and made it man. Really fantastic. Um, I think I'm going to give that a, I, I don't know if I can go as far as to say it's the best chicken sandwich in Chicago, but it's damn good. And I'm going to give it a great score. I'm going to go a 4.35. Yeah, that felt a lot more like some of the fried chicken sandwiches like that we've had that are like quite a bit more expensive. They're like a spectacle. They're like there's a lot more going on. That felt like a real good just everyday yeah, chicken. Yeah. I'm gonna call that the everyday chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. And this world needs an everyday chicken sandwich. If I lived by Boxcar Betty's, that would be that would be in my life a lot. I, I truly think if I was like in this neighborhood and for some reason I lived in one of these like 1.3 million dollar homes, I would pop over there and snag one of those. I really like that. There's there's much better chicken sandwiches in Chicago in my opinion. But man, for the price, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I like. I'm gonna go 4.25. There you go. I think that's right in that realm. I think that's super fun. Um, let us know if you guys have ever had this. If we have any true Charleston, South Carolina folks watching this video, and you were there when like the first one was made, so you've been having this. What's that like? Is it amazing? Do, do people in Charleston love it? Let us know. Uh, we'll be back here tomorrow. Back in Corey's apartment, drinking, hanging out, and kicking off your weekend to start it. Uh, so guys, enjoy the rest of this Thursday. Crack a beer, and we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.